everybody and welcome back to the channel today I'm just gonna show some of the stuff I have around here these are just the toys this is the 110 three-wheeler I think it's an 85 110 my kids probably put a hundred thousand miles on this thing riding it all they five gallons of gas a day they'd burn through this all summer long and my oldest son he re-ringed it so I went through and adjusted the valves and got it running again. Needs a, the mixture circuit, the mixture jet is plugged, the idle mixture. So it needs a new one of those to idle. And then we got the, uh, I think this is an 85 or an 86. It's a Honda, four tracks. And then we got the... The 72 LS2 100 Yamaha. I did, I put about $1,500 worth of parts onto this thing just to put it back into a, looking like a motorcycle again. It's only had a thousand miles on it and it just sat outside and the snow, it, every year the snow would be over the handlebars where it was sitting. And I got it and I, last year I freed it back up and my kid, he, my youngest son, he got into motorcycles, so he helped out and he bought a few part. He bought the carburetors for it and the seat. I bought that, or well, the wife bought that, and that was a Christmas present. That was like two hundred bucks for a used seat. You know, a lot of little things. You know, like all the blinkers and stuff are new, and I got another rim for the back. Those shocks are new. The chain, chain guard's new old stock because it was missing. That was a hundred bucks. All the cables, you know, the tack cable was thirty bucks, and that's old, old used, new old stock part. Same with the front speedometer cable that had to find an old one that worked. That was like thirty or forty bucks, you know. It all nickel and dimes. I still got new forks. I got new. Uh, things to put on there and I got new ones of these that are in better shape put on there we'll do that one of these days and we got the 200 this thing is like the basket basket case Frankenstein put together thing it used to have uh, solid front forks on it and my kid he just put this motor on there and put new rings in it because the motor that was on here the the flywheel hit the lighting coil and wiped it out so it needs a new lighting coil so he put this one on there and then he put some some forks on it that had shocks and stuff so I finished this one all up and got headlight and everything wired up on it still got to fix a gas tank on that but it runs and rides so and it's got forks now so it rides a lot nicer and we got the little, I don't know what year this thing is. I think it's a 78 maybe. Somewhere around there. I don't know. You can tell by the, the paint on the tank. Is what tells what year it is. Might even be an 80 or 81. But yeah, that's, the kids rode that too. Rode hard and put away wet. Need to do a video on that. I need to get some spokes for the back. And respoke it and uh needs a new tube but it runs and rides then there's a the little quad she's back down with another flat and and the clutch went out right well one of the springs blew out on the clutch so I took the spring out and wired it back together and get them around for a little while longer until the other one comes in the mail but anyway guys that's some of the projects I have around here to work on and uh, I do have a little special thing out there I'll bring into the channel later on it's kind of a rarity rarity of mini bikes and I want to bring that on the channel when we get some more subscribers here but anyway if you guys enjoy the content make sure you like the video share it out and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe